Good afternoon to you. Hope you're doing well. This is David Allen with Bounce and Triad, Body, Mind, and Spirit. So Bounce and Triad, what is that? Think about the different challenges you have had in life. Think about the ones you're going through now. Think about the ones you've gone through in the past and even the ones you might go through in the future. What if you could handle all those kind of with grace and ease and let them kind of pass through and not kind of worry about them too much? That's what Bounce and the Triad is. And I found out the importance of that when I went in for a simple biopsy for the tumor in my sinus, only to wake up at ICU the next day, <clears throat> because there's some quite a bit of complications. When I found out it was ICU, my reaction was, okay, I actually treat this no big deal. The following week, I got a cancer diagnosis, more complications again, but it wasn't bothering me. I took it in stride and went back the following week, not knowing if I was going to have surgery till almost the last minute, and didn't know how the surgery was going to be done. Were they going to take it, take part of the eye out, take part of the brain out? <clears throat> Luckily for me, they went all through the sinus, eight hours, and a couple days in the several days in the hospital. I was okay. <clears throat> now that's how I understood the importance of balance and drive. Even before I had the biopsy, I dealt with suicidal thoughts <clears throat> about a month or so before that. I thought about it before, but this is the first time I actually looked at the techniques. Balance of the triad got me through that. <clears throat> Even after the surgery, when I had to go have the splints removed from my nose and they hit a nerve, I passed out and had a couple seizures, I still handled that okay. That's the significance of balance in the triad. So that's what I'm doing for these videos to share with you so that you can more graciously handle the challenges of life throws at you. So I want to continue what I've been covering. Uh, let's see, I covered as far as you know what you want, because most people don't, and then... Are you ready and willing to get it? Now, this is one that probably should have been done first. And as I, I got stuff up here, but I was going to figure them out to write them out to present them easier. This is one that probably should have been first. Take an honest look at where you're at in your body, your mind, and your spirit. Now, this is not a time to criticize yourself, ridicule yourself, belittle yourself in any way, shape, or form. It is simply the way to figure out where are you at. So with body, take a look at your physique. Take a look at your energy. What your health, overall health is like. <clears throat> Take a look at our, what your sleep like. <clears throat> what your energy, I might have already said that, but what's your energy like? Take aspects of the body. And do you like it? Where are you at? Now, again, do not put yourself down. Just realize, accept yourself that this is where I'm at. That's all we're doing is taking an take honest look. With your body, again, your physique, hey, <clears throat> one aspect, hey, do you, like what you look, do you like what you look like naked, hey? With the mind, are you always able to constantly learning something? Are you working on being creative? Are you aware of what is going into your mind? Are you watching the negative news all the time? Are you looking at negativity on Facebook or other social media? Are you constantly complaining of what's going on around you? This person cut me off in traffic. This person did this work. This client did this. You look at the negative aspect. Where are you with that? With your spirituality, do you connect to yourself? What are your values and morals? And do you follow them? Do you have a connection with the people around you, your community, whether it's at least in person or virtually? What about environmental spirituality? If you have a connection with, if you believe in a higher power, do you have a connection with that in some way, shape, or form? What about just simply nature, whether it's just a potted plant or your pet? And take any other factors that you have in there, but the simple idea is take an honest look. Again, where are you at right now? I'm going to remind you, I've said this several times here, I'm going to say it again. This is not a time to put yourself down, to blow yourself, knock yourself down. Well, I should be here. Well, I need to be at this level here. Why am I, haven't I done this? That's not what it's for. Doing that does yourself no good. Just take a moment and figure out where you are right now. <clears throat> That's all. If you have to, write things down. Figure out where you're at and then figure out now whether you like it. <clears throat> now, part of it is, is going through and accept yourself, say, be grateful, say, hey, I've made it this far. I'm where I'm at. And I'm grateful because now I can decide to make a change if you want to. That's what you want to expect gratitude to do. All the changes you've made up to this point have led you to this point as well. So the changes will give you a different solution, a different result. Well, that's just the aspect. That's probably one of the first steps that needs to be done. Like I said, I'm figuring this out as I'm writing things down in a different format. So take an honest look and find out where you're at. That's it, just because you need a starting point. You got to figure out where you're at and do you like it or do you not? You want to make some changes or not? That's all we're doing. That's all you want to do with taking an honest look where you're at. Then from there, you'll figure out what is it you actually do want. And then once you figure that out, then are you ready and willing to start taking some steps to do that? All right, so that's the parts we're up to right now. I'm actually going to probably put this information in a group to make it easier for everyone to see. But that's where we're at right now. So the three steps we're up to. And again, a little reverse order here as I'm figuring as I'm writing this out and getting out of my head. 
take an honest look and figure out where you're actually at. Then in turn decide what you do want, if it's not what you have already, and then are you ready to put the work into it? All right, so contemplate those. Let me know your thoughts on that. And we will continue this for the next several videos as I kind of give you a little framework or layout to start working on your balance in the triad of your body, mind, and spirit. All right, so take care. This is a Saturday right now, so enjoy your day or whenever you catch this. I will catch you on Sunday tomorrow. So have a good one. Take care and balance in tune. Bye-bye.